Hi, it's hard to find a fast and secure free VPN service right now. But in this short video, I will tell you about the best one. I have been working with this service for a very long time and it has never let me down. Here are some useful life hacks that make it truly one of the best in the best VPN category. Look closely at the screen we are studying. CyberGhost offers a great VPN product with a strong commitment to privacy, a reliable network and lots of concurrent connections. However, this is expensive. A VPN is a powerful tool to improve your online privacy and CyberGhost is one of the best VPNs on the market. It puts an attractive focus on video streaming, but supports that focus with rare privacy features and a large network of servers and serious locations. However, you will pay extra for these great features. A monthly plan for CyberGhost costs $12.99. That's slightly higher than the current industry average of $10.21 per month. Like most VPNs, CyberGhost offers the same set of features, with prices varying over time. You pay more in advance for a longer interval, but generally save more for it. CyberGhost does not currently offer an annual plan, although it could unexpectedly return at any time. His 6-month plan costs $47.94 and his 18-month plan costs $49.50. The longer of the two plans is notable, as it is about half the industry average of $71.87 for a 12-month plan. While the savings may seem tempting, I always recommend starting with a monthly VPN plan so you can see how well the service is working for you. You can easily purchase the CyberGhost plan using traditional payment methods such as credit card or PayPal, but you can also pay anonymously with Bitcoin. Other VPN services also offer the ability to to use prepaid gift cards such as those from Best Buy or Starbucks as anonymous options. A CyberGhost subscription allows you to use seven devices at the same time, making it profitable for a multi-device family. The industry average for VPN companies is five devices, but these numbers seem to be gradually shifting in favor of consumers. CyberGhost provides instructions on how to configure your router to use the CyberGhost service. This is convenient because setting up VPN protection on your router protects all traffic for all devices on your network, even smart devices that cannot be individually configured. If you are a BitTorrent fan, you will be pleased to know that CyberGhost allows you to share BitTorrent and P2P files over a VPN, and the corresponding servers that allow torrenting are noted in the app. CyberGhost has servers specifically dedicated to video streaming services, which can be handy if you find yourself blocked from your favorite shows. The company says it uses double encryption while encrypts the authentication connection as well as the VPN connection for added security. This is the default feature for all subscribers. CyberGhost also offers no spy servers which are located on the premises of the company and are intended for users who are very concerned about who can access VPN servers. Access to no spy servers is available for $59.88 per year in addition to the standard monthly subscription fee but free for annual subscribers. There are many ways to secure your VPN connection. I prefer to use the OpenVPN protocol, which is open source software, which means that its code has been thoroughly tested for vulnerabilities. CyberGhost supports OpenVPN in their apps for Android, Linux and Windows. Notably, the Windows app uses IKE version 2 by default, which is my next favorite protocol. The older L2TP protocol is also supported by the Windows applications, but I recommend avoiding this particular protocol unless absolutely necessary. CyberGhost's iOS and macOS apps apps use IKE version 2. The future of VPNs likely lies with WireGuard, a still untested and experimental protocol. It is promising but has limited distribution. CyberGhost currently only supports WireGuard for Linux users. CyberGhost has servers in approximately 90 countries. This is a good combination with above average for Africa and South America, two continents that are often overlooked by VPN companies. CyberGhost offers servers in Hong Kong, Russia and Vietnam, but does not have servers in in Turkey. These are all regions with repressive internet politics. CyberGhost says the company leases servers at every location it offers VPN access. There is some virtualization on 340 of these servers, but the location of the virtual servers are the same as the location of the real physical servers. CyberGhost also ranks among the leaders in terms of server numbers with an impressive 5,900. The information CyberGhost collects, how it is used, and what information it does not collect is 
set out in its privacy policy. While this policy is very thorough, it is also complex and difficult to read with the exception of an explanatory introduction. The company's documentation states that CyberGhost does not store user IP addresses, DNS lookups, browsing history, connection disconnect, timestamps, session duration, bandwidth, or the VPN server you are connecting to. The company appears to be collecting information on connection attempts and successes, but only in aggregate form. A company representative told me that CyberGhost not only does not log user activity, but also does not know the identity of the clients connected to the server. The company monitors the server's CPU utilization, available memory, the amount of server bandwidth use, and other metadata. A company representative assured me that CyberGhost only generates revenue from customer subscription. This is what I want to hear, as a VPN is supported to protect your information, not monetize it. You can change the VPN location from the drop-down menu under the connect button. Tap the graph icon and you can see some real-time analytics about your connection. Clicking on the yellow tab in the lower left corner of the window will expand the setting panel. You can expand and actually see each specific server in a given location, which I really like, and, and add the ones you prefer to your favorites list. Here you can also drill down to see the load on specific servers and the exact number of connected users. The app provides additional listings for streaming servers and torrent servers. In the app, you will find settings for ad blocking, tracker blocking, and malware blocking. There is also the option to enable data compression and exclude certain websites from tunneling through the VPN. This is useful for streaming from Netflix or any activity that might block VPN access. This is not the same as split tunneling, which allows traffic from specific applications to be directed outside the VPN tunnel. The deeper settings menu has a suite of surprisingly advanced security features. You can, for example, connect CyberGhost on a random port, change the VPN protocol used by the app, and block IP version 6 connection, just to name a few. Most of them don't need to be touched, but I love that they are. CyberGhost offers apps for Android, iOS, macOS, and Windows with Linux support. Specifically, the company supplies apps for Android TV and Amazon Fire TV Stick. There is also a Chrome proxy extension that masks your IP address but protects your browser traffic differently than the CyberGhost app. Please note that the Chrome extension only protects your browser traffic. Netflix is arguably the most aggressive when it comes to VPN blocking. CyberGhost had issues with Netflix. I found that I was unable to stream from a VPN server in the US, but I had no problem streaming from one of the servers dedicated to video streaming. VPN blocking is a bit of a cat and mouse game though, so a VPN that works with Netflix today could be blocked tomorrow. For its part, CyberGhost offers dedicated IP addresses and provides ad blocking through its VPN connection as well as blocking malicious content. In September 2020, CyberGhost introduced a new tokenized system for issuing dedicated IP addresses. This means that a company can issue dedicated IP addresses without storing your IP address in the process. IP addresses are available in Canada, France, Germany, UK and US for $5 per month on top of CyberGhost subscription fees. CyberGhost has a large and varied set of server locations and a robust set of security features backed by a strong commitment to privacy. Its app is easy to use and the company offers seven simultaneous connections. The company also cleverly highlights the importance of video streaming. The big catch is that it's all done at an above average price.